Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chan. The Chan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here. And see, I don't even know how to start these things anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we're doing a little recap, I guess, just like a compilation of all the footage I got in these past two months. Um, so I didn't have a June vlog and I didn't have a July vlog and there are many reasons behind that. Um, so, but <laughs> I did attempt to vlog, that's what matters, right? So in all the attempts that I did of vlogging, I had all this footage and it wasn't long enough to have like two separate month monthly vlogs. So I thought I would just put them together and show you a few of the things that I've been up to. So pretty much the reason why I haven't been vlogging is because I just haven't been in the right like head space to vlog. I don't know if that makes any sense, but these past two months, June and July, have been like really just, I don't know, like depressing pieces of shit for me. I have no self-esteem, no drive to do anything, no energy. I just feel like a piece of shit and I don't know why. Um, it's very strange and I can't really explain it. I just can tell you guys like how I've been feeling. Um, but it's very hard to put into words. We'll just leave it at that. I, um, I've been dealing with it in like my own way and you know I'm just like trying to take control of my life again. I start school on Monday so I have been preparing for that. I got myself some new school stuff. I yesterday I organized my room from 1 p.m. To like 9 p.m. I swear to God I cleaned and I organized all day long because clean space clean mind I guess <laughs> um, so yeah I did that and then uh, I I've just I got a planner so yeah I got a new planner uh, it's this one right here I am so obsessed with this print I think it's so so cute and fresh but yeah I got this I've been using it I have been mapping out things that I need to do in my day and instead of just laying in bed and sleeping I uh, when if I make a list I will be more inclined to do it so I've been doing that just kind of like getting my shit together I know this is really not interesting but uh, I feel like I should say it um, I feel like these vlogs are kind of like a, a definitely an outlet for me to you know how people like blog about their feelings while well, I'm vlogging about my feelings it's like the same thing <laughs> yeah I'm just like I'm exercising again I'm just trying to feel better um, so I'm doing things that I know make me feel better which also includes like vlogging and like posting videos so I really need to get back to doing that I just lost myself there for a while I still feel kind of lost but I'm working on it <laughs> so yeah I thought I would just like upload the footage that I have from the past few months um, it's not much not much at all so I thought I would kind of just like talk through it so yeah starting in June like I really wanted June to be a bomb ass month you know what I'm saying like I didn't have school I was like off for summer break I wanted the vlog to be fucking like the best vlog ever like vlog every single day uh, it just didn't turn out that way so in the beginning of the vlog me Robert and Carlos went to Beverly Hills and Venice Beach for a little fun um, we wanted to try this vegan restaurant called I have a terrible Spanish accent. Gracias mad madre mad whatever. I'm gonna say it white. Gracias madre. Gracias madre. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's an all vegan restaurant in like the heart of. I think it was the heart of Beverly Hills. It sure felt like it. I felt really out of place there. But I had these fish tacos made of heart of palm. 
it tasted so legit I wanted to cry because I miss fish so much they were so so good and I had a Mexican mimosa as well um oh so bomb but I ordered a Mexican mimosa it was just like a regular mimosa but it had chili in it I almost died choking on the chili the first drink I took <laughs> but it was very expensive very bougie um but it was a nice experience and i definitely want to go back <laughs> and then after that we went to venice beach um i don't think robert it was either robert or carlos but they had never been and they wanted to check it out i hate venice beach to be quite honest with you it's dirty it's novelty it's just not my thing <laughs> so we just walked down the street is it a street it's like the shops on the beach looked at all this stuff watched some performers uh, and then we left <laughs> it was insane like the parking near the beach was like forty dollars forty dollars just let that sink in for parking and there was no street parking and we eventually found a parking garage that was twenty dollars so we just parked there and we only stayed for like maybe an hour hour and a half and then we left and then for the rest of the month I kind of just like blobbed along <laughs> it's all such a blur but um a little while later and i think it was maybe the next day i can't remember or the day of oh my gosh i don't even know but naeem had a summer kickoff party at his house hey why are you taking a beer box why 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 because i lost against who against you and carlos <laughs> Hey, Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that Modelo Black? Yeah. yeah it is. Damn, get fucked. He's gonna fuck you up. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Nice face. You can't see shit, but we have umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. What's up, guys? We're at the summer kickoff. June 1st or 2nd, one of the two, maybe third. I know at this point in the AM. Second. Oh. But, second. One of, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. even But. What is uh, that you're drinking? This is, it's actually straight juice. I'm quite intoxicated. Um, <laughs> straight juice. I've been, I've been strongly uh, on the up the past 20, 25 minutes. That was fun. It's always nice to be around friends celebrating nothing, really. The change of the season <laughs> but uh i i definitely needed that i definitely had a good time carlos and i were like playing pong all night long we were killing it that day um and yeah the rest of the month i would just like start vlogs and never finish them so i really apologize but that's just how it went Hey, I haven't vlogged in like 10 days. So much for having a good vlog this month. <laughs> but I'm sure whatever I do this month will be good. A good amount of time. I normally start my vlogs on like the 11th or the 12th anyway, so it's fine. It's the 11th. Um, I think the last time I saw you guys was at Naeem's summer kickoff party, but he had a summer kickoff party and that was fun. I, me and Carlos were pretty much on the beer pong table the entire night. We won like nine games, which is crazy, but yeah, that happened. So we were on there for a really long time and it was fun. Um, what else do I have to fill you in on? I mean, we went to a barbecue, but I forgot my camera. Um, oh, that, wait. Oh, no, the last time I saw you guys was at my cousin's graduation. So, yeah, my cousin Joby graduated from the same high school I graduated from. 
He graduated with honors. He was like the ASB treasurer or whatever. So he did like a speech at graduation and then he had a big graduation party on Saturday. Um, so I was spending time with family. And then yesterday we saw Hereditary and wow, what a movie. Like I thought it was so, so good. I was like on the edge of my seat the whole time. I just it was so unpredictable and it was like scary in like a good way like I had the perfect amount of like jumps jump scares it was mostly like the type of scary movie that makes you feel dead inside if that makes sense um which I like cuz it's like I don't know it's just different than your normal scary movie but yeah, that was so good. I absolutely loved it. We went with Steph and Charles, and that was fun. We went to Alpha after. It was their first time, and they loved it, I think. They said they did. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's now Monday, and I can't talk. But yeah, it's Monday, and I am going to go search for a bathing suit today. I'm dreading it I hate bathing suits but we're going to Vegas and for five days in the beginning of July so July 8th for five days and um, it's gonna be super hot so we're gonna be at the pool a lot so I need a bathing suit or two so I'm gonna go to Pismo today and try to find one <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking like really dragged out. I'm sure it's like really annoying. But yeah, I'm going to try and find a bathing suit today. I'm going to go to a few places. Uh, and then... And then I don't know. Probably nothing after that. It's a Monday, so I doubt anyone is going to be doing anything. So Bath & Body Works was having their sale. Their candle sale yesterday. So we stopped by after we went to the movies. And I got this one. Um, vanilla bourbon peach, <laughs> uh, excuse me, and oh my god, like, I was like searching and searching and searching for a bomb candle and they had all their like yummy summer scents. Uh, I was going to get the lavender marshmallow one, but I decided not to because I smelled that one, it was like the last one that I smelled. <laughs> Because it didn't like sound good to me and didn't, it was just like in a plain, the, the jar design was really plain. But I decided to smell it and it smells so delicious. I don't know what it is, but I ended up getting that one. Carlos got two. He got Island Margarita and cotton, fresh cotton. So yeah, and they were ten fifty. Pretty awesome. I don't think I have anything else to report, so I'll see you guys hopefully when I'm out swimsuit shopping and hopefully I can find one. When I do, hopefully I'll remember to show you. <laughs> yeah. What's yours? Hey guys, <clears throat> so it's the next day and I'm horrible at vlogging. Horrible at doing anything really, but let me show you what I got yesterday. Uh, I actually got pretty lucky and I found two swimsuits. Two. It's crazy. But I went to Torrid because <laughs> I have pretty big boobs and um, I can't get swimsuits from like PacSun or Zoomies or anything like that because they're tiny. Like, they wouldn't even begin to cover like half so yeah they look like they're for like middle schoolers so I went here and they had some pretty good stuff like stuff that actually fit which is nice um, so the first top that I got that I liked was this one um, it's just like a blue tie-dye with um, like the cage detailing down the center um, it's kind of shaped like a sports bra, which I like because it has nice, uh, what do you call it? Support. So there's that one. 
Um, I just kind of like mix, mixed and matched some stuff. I got these bottoms. They're just regular like high-waisted bottoms, but they have like a scalloped detail on the edge. And then I got another pair of bottoms. It's kind of like a... This is like a swimsuit, but it's like a bottom, but it's like longer. Um, so it has like the normal um, like bikini bottoms. And then it has this like see-through crochet detailing. Um, and it's like long and you can like see through it. So I can wear this like in the pool and around the pool, um, which is cool. And then I got the matching top for that one as well. This is like a crochet high neck one. So it goes like around the neck and then it has like a regular um, bikini top underneath. Uh, I really like it. It's cute. And then I got this from Paxson. Um, it's just like a little, um, uh, I don't even know what you would, <coughs> excuse me. I don't even know what you would call these. Um, <laughs> I have no clue. I didn't think it was going to fit me and I found it in clearance and, um, what size is it? It's a large and it actually fit. I think it would look cute with high-waisted shorts. I'm just trying to find, like, clothes that will be not hot in Vegas because it's going to be, like, unbelievably hot. So I'm just, like, on the hunt for cute things that I can wear. Um, when it's going to be like 112 degrees. Um, those swimsuits, by the way, were like stupidly expensive. Uh, regular price, like the tops were like $60 and they were on sale for $30. And so were the bottoms. So like each top and each bottom was $30. $30. Um, so I got four things, so it was $120. Yeah. <laughs> Swimsuits and I have never really gotten along, so I'm kind of glad that I found two, at least. So today I'm going to Santa Barbara with my family. Um, my grandpa has a doctor's appointment, so I'm just tagging along with them. It's about 11, and yeah, we're just going to go. He's going to get his stuff at the doctor, and then we'll probably go eat somewhere. Maybe shop, hopefully. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, though. Hey everyone, it's Saturday, June 16th, and today is the final round of the Warp Tour competition um, that Carlos is playing in. We're, it's about 7.30 right now, and we're heading to Anaheim now because they have to check in at noon, and then we have to like wait around until 10 p.m. until they play, so... <laughs> Yeah, the show starts at 5 though, so once we get there, we'll have like 5 hours to kill, I think. Um, but Stephanie and Charles are coming with us. Yeah. We were gonna stay the night and go to Disneyland tomorrow, but I completely forgot that it was Father's Day. So, that's not happening anymore, so we're just driving back tonight. Good morning! Long time no speak. It's been quite some time since I vlogged, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pick it up right here. <laughs> um, so today is June 24th. I can't even remember the last time that I vlogged, but today is June 24th. It's about 7.40 a.m. and we're going to Warp Tour today, the one in Ventura. Um, Carlos's band did not win the Warp Tour competition, um, but that's okay, you can't win them all. Fast forward to July. I did not vlog one bit in July, except for when me and Carlos went to Disneyland. We went for a few days, um, and we got to finally experience Pixar Pier, which took us quite some time, <laughs> but we finally went. So we made it. It is almost three o'clock, three o'clock <sighs> a.m., by the way. <laughs> so tired uh, we just got to our room this is it uh it's got like a little living area which is pretty cool yeah and it, we we did hotel tonight so it was like a random room that we got 
uh, this that has two beds. I guess is this the this is the biggest room that they offer. We're staying at the Wyndham Garden Anaheim Hotel. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, uh, it's really nice though. Like they have a lot of construction going on, but other than that, it's pretty chill. Um, there's our view at the window. Pretty whatever. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna be in this room until tomorrow morning and then we transfer to another room in the hotel because I had to make two separate reservations through hotel tonight. It was really stupid, but um, it's because we decided to come tonight very last minute. <laughs> so the original reservation didn't have two nights, but anyway, um, we're gonna be here until Sunday and it is currently Friday. So I'm pretty excited. It should be a fun little trip. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. What are we waiting for, Booby? Boot. Where? Carnation Cafe. How long have we been waiting? 20 minutes. We got pizza from this place called Vegan Pizza. This one right here, it is a spicy Thai pizza. Holy crap. That shit's bomb. But yeah, we're just gonna get changed, freshen up a little bit. I napped hard, so I look really gross. <laughs> and then we're gonna head back. Probably check out uh, Pixar Pier now. Yay!
disappointed I mean not disappointed because it's Disneyland but underwhelmed I guess I was just expecting so much more from Pixar Pier I thought like everything was going to be changed but um I kind of just got like a facelift you know like some fresh paint new theme I mean like minimal new theme um but other than that I pretty much looked the same to me they changed all like the the games and then of course they changed the Incredicoaster which I wasn't able to ride because Carlos doesn't like roller coasters and the line was too long for me to just be by myself um but yeah it, it was just I was just expecting more I guess I don't know they just hyped it up a lot <laughs> definitely not saying that you shouldn't go um, I mean, it was fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying <laughs> I was a little bit underwhelmed. And then, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. That that was all I did for the rest of July. I mean, I did other things, but like, like I told you in my Vegas vlog. Oh yeah, we went to Vegas. That was like a huge part of my July as well. But I had broken my camera and I finally decided that I don't like vlogging with my Sony. That's the one that I took to Disneyland and I just... I like it when I'm not filming myself if that makes sense because there's no screen and it's a very heavy camera and I don't the the lens that I have isn't very like wide so I have to hold it like really far away from my face and it's just not the best camera for vlogging I'll just put it that way but I still I, I'm going to keep it I do love it for other things though so yeah I mean there's really nothing else that I could think of that I did in July that was like noteworthy which is pretty sad um you know Carlos played a bunch of shows and I we saw a bunch of movies but like that's pretty much it 
So yeah, I really like apologize to whoever like watches my channel religiously and watches every single one of my videos and like looks forward to one of my videos. I promise this is not going to be like a forever thing. I was just feeling really shitty for a quick second there and hopefully this August vlog will be better. Um, and once school starts again, I'm sure I'll get back into my routine and to the swing of things. And this is my last semester at Hancock. So last semester at community college, which is crazy. It took me so, so long, but doing it at my own pace helped me or like ensured that I would get good grades. And I have, and I've just been soaking it all in. And so yeah. The plan is for me, um, once I'm done with this semester, I also have to start applying to big girl colleges like next month. But yeah, I apply to a big girl college. I graduate from community college and I get accepted in the spring, sometime in the spring. And I'm hoping to be at college this time next year. So next year, like in spring and summer, I'll be preparing to move. Hopefully, if I get accepted, I don't see why I wouldn't. My GPA is pretty good. But yeah, my two choices are Long Beach, CSU Long Beach, and Fullerton. I went, oh, we went, and, that's why we went to Disneyland, was because we wanted to visit the Long Beach, Long Beach campus, and we did. It was, it wasn't what I expected. I really didn't know what to expect, but yeah, I didn't really have a good time in Long Beach. I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, those are my two options and hopefully I can get into one of them. And if not, I have no idea what I'm going to do with my life. And that's really scary to think about, but I think I'll be okay. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a very, very quick update. And I just want to thank you for watching my videos. And I can't tell you how much I love you guys. And I'm almost to a thousand subscribers which is freaking wild, but I definitely want to have a giveaway. I don't know what I want to give away yet. <laughs> of course, I want to give away something makeup related, but I also want to give away something that everyone would like, male and female alike. So I'm going to start brainstorming that. I'm almost at two, uh, and I was going to say halfway there, but that's not halfway. I'm almost to 950, so we're almost halfway from 900 to 1,000. <laughs> I did want to show you guys one more thing. Actually, gosh, this video is so all over the place. But I told you that I organized my room yesterday. I wanted to show you this little corner I have back here because I think it's so cute, and I want to show someone. So I'm going to show you. Okay? Okay, so um, this is my dresser here, and... I, I uh, what did I change? Okay, I put these string lights up. They're string lights that came with like little clips. So I was able to clip a few of my like loose Polaroids onto them. I love the way this looks. I think it, uh, I think it, <laughs> I think it's, it's so cute. Um, but yeah, like I'm just so obsessed with this corner. I just, I don't know. I really like it. I think it looks hella cute. And I got this pumpkin. Um, I know it's still like the beginning of August, but I saw this and I thought it would match my room very perfectly. So <laughs> I bought it and then I have this sign thing here. Um, I think I got it at Ross, but I'm really feeling that as well. Carlos drew me this pic of Hans Molman. Um, it's my favorite. And then I just have some other like Disney stuff here. Oh, and also, if you guys are, like, trying to figure out how to store or, like, display your Instax pictures, they have these float frames at Michael's where it's just, like, two pieces of glass and you can, like, sandwich whatever you want in between the two pieces of glass. So, that's how I display my Instax. I had someone ask me, like how I do <laughs> and that I I, uh, I do this and I also got this right here it's like um, the photo magnets for them too I was gonna put them on my calendar but I ran out of pictures so I need to take more <laughs> um, I also have one of the frames over here as well and then my calendar and my Disney pins <sighs> but yeah 
Um, I think I want to do a room tour very soon. Um, I just, I want to make sure that my room is perfect before I do. <laughs> oh, there's another thing I want to show you guys, actually. Okay, so you probably already know that I'm obsessed with Disney, and I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It's definitely one of my favorite Disney movies, but I saw this ad on Instagram. Instagram knows me very, very well, but it was for Box Lunch, and it was um, the website, and they had these little pots from oh my gosh it's so overexposed one moment please is this helping there we go okay so yeah these little pots um <laughs> like sally's little pots so there's deadly nightshade and they're just like trinket boxes so you can open them um then we have worms wart i think this is my favorite one and look at how perfectly it matches my room like the grayish blue theme I've got going on is like perfect and then there's frog's breath so <laughs> I've been wanting like trinket boxes like from Sally um, but I'm glad I waited because I found some that are like perfectly matched to my room okay that's definitely enough rambling for one video thank you guys for watching this little update I love you so much and I will see you in the next one bye